Any player will tell you playing games and being fully fit, match fit is, is the most important thing and it makes you feel better and more sharper on the pitch. So, um, yeah, the last few years it's, it's been, I had to come into camp and try and find something and, and, and dig deep and find my fitness. But, um, yeah, I've obviously played a lot more games, a lot more training going into, into these games. And um, we have a plan in, in LA what, what we're doing. We're not... Um, Strain away from it too much. We're being clever, building myself up now into for the last important part of of the season, and um, then hopefully then that should put me in in great shape for the World Cup as well as that. So Bale hoping to be in peak form for Wales at the World Cup and the Nations League this week. If his time at LAFC so far is anything to go by, he'll be right near the top of his game. He scored twice, including this stunning solo goal. And he's admitted that after a rocky final few years at Real Madrid, it's nice to be appreciated once again. It feels nice. The, the fans have been really supportive of me over there. They've been patient as well, which has been good. And... Um, yeah, I'm enjoying playing over there. The, the fans are really, are really um, well, especially in our stadium, the, the atmosphere is incredible. They're always supporting the team. Um, so, yeah, I can't ask, ask any more of that. And it, um, it made me feel at home straight away. So, uh, yeah, good kind of vibes from, from, from my team in, in the MLS. And, um, yeah, hopefully that gives me more confidence going into Wales as well. Look, it's, it's oozing out of him, isn't it? So you can see it's been the right, it's been the right move for him and his family, absolutely. If, whether it's the lifestyle, it's the training, it's, you saw the welcome he got from the, from the players who wouldn't want to go into training every day. They talk about this environment, but it seems, seems like he's got that in the, in the changing room there in LA. So um, from a lifestyle, the family are happy. He's, you know, he's got his, his family with him. Um, and he seems like he's enjoying his football, albeit, again, he's not playing 90 minutes, 90 minutes, but I think he knew that realistically. He wasn't going to go over there and play week in, week out. And um, we've had him on camp before, and he's been great for us on one less games without playing any minutes at club level. So, a first World Cup for Bale and Co awaits, but business to do before that. Certainly is, and it doesn't get much tougher than going away to Belgium, where they could do with the result to give them a fighting chance of not being relegated from their Nations League group. Belgium are now the world's second best ranked team and were knocked off top spot in March after dominating the rankings for nearly four years. And there are more than a few familiar faces in their squad. Eden Hazard, who's rediscovered his form at Real Madrid, was in good spirits at training alongside uh, coach Thierry Henry. And this is a partnership that Tottenham fans will remember fondly. Jan Vertonghen and Toby Alderweireld still going strong. Well, this is how it currently stands in Wales and Belgium's group. Wales have uh, just one point from their four matches with their final two games against Belgium and Poland. Wales find themselves in a position here after prioritising their World Cup playoff against Ukraine. Understandably, back in June, a game, of course, they won. But Bale is confident that they can still get the points they need. Obviously, it's in the back of your mind, which obviously it's going to be. But um, no, we, we have two games now that we need to, to focus on. We need to keep improving as a team. Um, yeah, to be ready as, as much as we can for the first game. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure when it comes around, everyone will be buzzing to go. Everyone knows we prioritised the Ukraine game and, and we, we didn't play probably the first two or three games with any, anywhere near our full-strength team. No disrespect to the other players that played, but um, we probably played a little bit with our hands tied behind our back. But um, next two games, we're going to try and do as best we can to win the games, to stay in, in Group A, um, in League A, and, yeah... That's all we can focus on now is, is doing what we can in, in the next two games and, and that'll prepare us well going into the World Cup as well. We'll always look back to the, the first couple of games. Um, there's points we could have picked up, that, up there, I firmly believe. So the bigger picture is, you know, because of that, we then had to change our, our um, narrative a little bit and it was more about then giving these young lads experience and, uh, and, and playing in games against top teams and, and using that as a benefit as opposed to, there's no way I could have played the same team that we played against Ukraine against Holland three days later. It's just impossible to do so. It is what it is. Uh, we, we've given ourselves a fighting chance now to, to stay in the division and, and full focus is on that.